Hello guys, let's continue this topic. So as we know DQM means data quality management. Previously I have shown you in my previous video that how can we create a simple rule and it should show in this uh, UI to the end user. So th this one is pretty simple. So what if we want to what if we want to compare two variables in the same entity like single entity uh, validation for example I am having the salutation is mandatory already but if we keep same name suppose a b c d e f and another one name one a b c d e f so if they keep same name one and salutation if they keep same content inside both of the fields then it should throw error message to me this is the um, this is the uh, requirement I got suppose for example then how can we do so it is bit slight extension to the previous scenario in previous scenario we are just focusing on salutation we are only checking the salutation only now what happens if I click and check it is just asking CR description nothing else it is not asking anything so now I want to send an error message that name one and salutation both are same that's what to, I want to do it now so let's go quickly into the topic so I am opening business quality data quality management for business partners in this particular catalog I am clicking on this style data quality rules so go into this here I have created previously this one now what I want to do is I will create another rule create so now I will speed up guys because this is second part previously I have said all the required information so rule id check equals name one two salutation suppose i am checking whether salutation and name one are equal or not if both are equal then what i have to do so enter a text with maximum of 26 characters and spaces so it is exceeding 26 characters that is why name one let's check now so now it is accepting system now rule name what we have to show to the user end user so I want to show salutation should not be same as name one so I am keeping like this now I am giving but triple zero as we know base table is that unchecked field I will give again but triple zero here so let's open but triple zero general salutation let's focus on that so we can check this one now this has been filled so this checked field means the to to that field only it will focus in red border that's why we will give this now let's go down these are all not mandatory let's skip it now that's it we can go to create now that status will be new status so this has been created in the system now we can add usages here so click on add here check in change request here we can give all four those are different different tools in MDG now check in change request I am giving now click on prepare so base table but triple zero I will give so we have to pick up from this drop down prepare usage that's it now this has been enabled now it has created scope expression and condition expression let's go into ex first scope expression as you know scope expression doesn't require um, 
much effort like uh, we have to be like it, if you if we want to trigger this for all cases we can just change it to true equal to true so that every time it will return true so i will change operand to true equal to true true is equal to true that's it save and activate now go back now go to usages again here condition let's go into condition now i am editing this so edit operand use direct value from now here let's go to context so in this context i want to focus now on salutation so i am going clicking on more so this is the context anything we can take from this now i want to focus on salutation so here i will keep salutation star shortly i am just checking it so i got this salutation clicking on okay now this is coming now is equal to now i want to check if this is equal to so what we have to check when this has to return false so let's go to ui when both name one and salutations are equal then it has to return false that means here we have to check not equal to is not equal to now again here i want to fill new thing go to change context now we have to go to more now let's check name one so i got this click on okay now it is checking salutation is not equal to name one so if both are not equal then it will return true then so if both are not equal if it is returns true then it doesn't show anything in the ui no messages will be shown if both are equal then it will return false then that message will appear in the ui so let's activate this one and go back to main part this is status is still new i want to approve this one now if this is in approved state then we can make this as enabled then we will have option now it is ready to test in the system i am just going here again now let's start testing this business rule now go to organization create customer make sure this cr type is having dqm enabled those messages now here description now i am giving name one because this is mandatory yeah i am giving name one testing i am clicking on enter now validations will trigger from both dqm and mdg side so here it is showing salutation is mandatory so i am giving some salutation here now click on enter it is not showing anything now i will change this to same as name one testing and clicking on enter now we can see salutation should not be same as name one this error is showing because the salutation is not same it should not be same as name one this is the business rule we have created now so like that whenever both uh, attributes are in same entity it will be very easy from brf like uh, because both will come from same context so that's it guys for today's video this is just, i know this is very small topic i will cover rest others like uh, if we want to do cross entity validation 
then how can we do it that i will discuss in next video that will be bit lengthy thank you guys